a warm welcome to everyone to my youtube channel learn to one i hope you must have uh, seen my videos regarding your financial management today we are going to discuss about the risk management in finance which is a very important and important interesting topic so managing of the financial uh, risk is most important to achieve the moments in the financial market or unexpected events that affects an organizational financial health so there are several types of risk that the business and the investors face first is their market risk this market risk is known as uh, systematic risk which arises from the fluctuations in the financial market uh, and also in the asset prices it includes interest rate risk equity price risk currency risk and commodity price risk interest rate risk the risk of loss due to changes in interest rate affecting the bond prices loan repayments and the cost of financing equity price current risk and commodity price risk are also the risk which is involved in the market and this risk of losses uh, it has to be analyzed properly okay and next one is regarding your credit risk what is credit risk it is a default risk refers to the risk of loss arising from the failure of the counterparties to fulfill their financial obligations say for example first one is your counterparty risk um, which is the risk of loss due to the default or insolvency of counterparties in the financial transaction such as bro borrowers issuers of bonds or counterparties in derivative contracts then credit spread risk the risk of loss due to widening credit spreads reflecting deteriorating credit worthiness or market perceptions of the increased default risk then next uh, in the way is your liquidity risk liquidity risk arises when uh, from the inability to buy or sell the assets quickly without significantly impacting their prices it includes market liquidity risk and funding liquidity risk that is risk of loss due to the inability to execute trades or liquidate the positions at the desired prices particularly in liquid or uh, volatile markets then funding liquidity risk there is risk of loss due to the difficulties in obtaining the funds to meet the short term liquidity so these are all the liquidity risk which is our uh, involved in your risk financial risk next one is your operational risk that is the risk which arises from internal processes that is uh, systems people or external events that may be disrupt the business operations or lead to the financial losses so often the risk will lead to the financial losses which has to be uh, streamlined in order to avoid the risk we cannot avoid the risk but we can minimize the risk so it may include the operational risk it may include the human error or the technological risk so previously the human error it was higher because everything the records are maintained uh, manually so the errors omissions and misconduct by the employees management third parties it may be lead to the financial losses and next one is your technology risk that is uh nowadays ai is plays an important role in all the um, disciplines so technology risk that is the failures small functions or the cyber uh, attacks um, on the information technology systems networks or infrastructure that disrupt the operations or compromise the data security then again legal and regulatory risk that is non compliance with the laws and regulations so these are the risk which is involved in your operation risk one is your human error technology risk and the um, legal and regulatory risk and the next one is your political risk that is government policies regulations and geopolitical events that affects the business and the investment so this includes policy risk and geopolitical risk policy risk that is the tax laws trade regulation monetary policies uh, that impacts the business operations profitability or the investment returns that is your policy risk another geopolitical risk it relates to conflicts terrorism or uh, civil unrest in the countries or the regions which may affect the running of a particular business so the political risk involves policy risk and your geopolitical risk then reputational risk 
it refers to the potential for damage to an organization reputation or brand value due to negative public uh, publicity customer dissatisfaction ethical lapses or corporate misconduct so public uh, perception and customer relations are the main reputational risk which is faced by the organization in day to day uh, uh, practice okay then next one uh, so we have discussed enough about the various types of risk which is involved in the organization so minimizing these risk and um, efficient running of an organization is most important to be uh, considered in the financial management thank you for watching thank